high point disassembly and I don't want to waste a lot of time doing this on camera. There's a lot of great videos out there on how to do this. But just to show you that I went through the process, uh, I'm going to do it in uh, kind of a high speed time lapse uh, situation. So enjoy. laid out pretty good and I've also been on the forums looking at what people have said about installing it so it may be tricky the first time but I figured y'all might as well enjoy it with me so I'll keep the manual over to the side in case I need it during the install So here we go, we're going to do the uh, FDE body. anymore. Don't need that anymore. And don't need that anymore. All right. Now for the fun. We'll just go through the steps just to, I'm going to glance through it because I kind of already read it. So I need to install a counterweight right here. I know you can't see that because we're not using this anymore. So there. So you swap places with that. spring there's a spring kind of on there that might have just flopped in there yeah all right and here's the counterweight so get the instructions again barrel pointing that way to the left install it on there like that right there huh. well, okay that looks simple enough so Basically, I'm going to take it and the screw is going to go through right there. 
I gotta get the right screw. Right there. Probably gonna be my handy little one eighth inch. Just torque it down real good because I don't want it coming loose. <clears throat> That's pretty good. That's 80 pounds of pressure right there, I can tell. No, I don't know how much it is. Okay. Now let's take this thing apart. Let's see. So I think we're gonna take these, there's one on each side here. And we're gonna take and uh, push those back. Lift that up, like that right there, is that it? Okay. And then this thing comes apart. This way, push with my. I'm gonna put my thumb right there and see if I can <clears throat> get it loose. <clears throat> they said it was tight and it'll wear in after a while. Jeez, Louise. Okay, hold on. Maybe there's something else. Nope. I don't think there's anything else. Let's give it a little tap on the bench. I don't have a rubber mallet, but if you did, you could probably tap it somewhere back here or something and get it loose. I'm going to just tap it on the bench, I think, right here. I got a pad. Let's see if that helps. I'm going to pull down at the same time. Yep, there it goes. And that wasn't very hard. It's probably just stuck from shipping it, you know, all new plastic and all that kind of stuff. Mm, still nice and tight. That's good. I definitely like it. I'm not going to say it. Uh. Okay. Come on out of there. Mm. There we go. All right, well good. That's perfectly fine. If it's a little bit snug, I'm okay with that because that just means once I get it back together, it's not gonna fall apart on me, so no problem with that. All right. Well, there you go. So, okay, I've already raised my safety. You know, it's lowered there, and I'm going to raise it because it says to raise it. Alrighty then. Well, number six. Oh, no. Kind of looks like there's a couple steps here. Let's see. Slowly lower it in. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I just got to do it the right way. Yeah, that went in right just fine. See there? Just so you can see. Safety went in the hole perfectly. There's some nice captures here, and I'm assuming that's where the pin goes through. Barrel's laying up on this little thing here, which is probably some kind of a pinch joint once you assemble everything. So let's do that again, just so you can see how easy it was. like that. Yeah, nothing to it. All right, we'll leave that there. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. 
talks about the trigger travel and this might be the place except I don't know how I'm gonna cock it well if I have to take it back apart that's fine I'm okay with that I'm just gonna assemble it let's make it a simple video on on the assembly and then if we need to come back or maybe somebody else will have beat me to it and we'll do the trigger adjustment next so we're just going to do an assembly and not waste a lot of video time. Flipping the page. All right, I'm going to put the spring in here. And decide, so I'm going to put it on the left hand side because that's where I want it, on the left hand side. Just kind of guessing a little bit right here. Sorry if I'm doing it wrong. I'm not trying to mess up on purpose. That's why this is probably good. I'm going to try and insert it from the inside. I don't think you can be in that way. Well, imagine that. Okay. So we've determined that you insert it from the inside and it probably says that and I hate reading so that's my fault. I'm going to take the blame on that. Then I'm going to push the spring. See I just look at the pictures. I don't really read unless it's like fun. Okay now I've moved the little spring into its position there like the picture shows. And just for fun, I'm going to hold it here and just see if you, you know, check for function. It seems to be working. Locks in place. Drops. Okay. So I'm going to assume that's done. Well, I think that's it. Now we can put this on there. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure everything stays in. And I'll try to do this what looks good on camera, but it may not be the best way to hold it. But that's what we're going to try and do. That way you can see what I'm seeing. Okay, things are moving. I got to hang up. So I guess you got to kind of feed the barrel down the, the slot or something. What's it hitting? Okay, like I said, it may not be good for the camera, but it's going to be easier for me to put it in, I think. I know what the problem is. I'm a goober. I take the blame on that. How about I take and put the pins in it instead of missing a step. Okay, so I'm gonna put both pins in. All right. And then here's the little locking things right here. Oh, so once you put those in, oh, that went pretty easy. Okay, there you go. Now no wiggle. Should go just fine. And my uh, serial number popped in real good right in that hole. There 
she goes. All right. There we go. Make sure all this stuff lines up. Got just a little bit more. you can see but I just got just a little bit more to go right there <clears throat> Man. okay I'm sure it's something I'm doing I mean this thing is tight so it's probably gonna need a little persuasion Okay, I'll speed this process up, I guess, on the video until I figure out how it goes. Ah, boom. Okay. Well, there you go. You just got to put all your weight on it. Everything looks good. Yep. Ah. All right. Now let's lock it down. Perfect. It's not all the way to the front there, but uh, I may take it back apart. I don't want to get it all stuck. So that's pretty much it. It's assembled now. Let's check it out for function. charging handle. Take it off as safety. Lock it out. That's good. Perfect. Bolt is locked back. Looks beautiful. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm actually liking that a lot. Man. Okay. All right, let's check the trigger out. You know, it's locked back, it's empty. You know, we went through all of that. Okay, let's see here. So we have a safety on the trigger. Beautiful. Man, I can't complain about that. That was awesome. Let's do it again. I'd say that right there is ready to go. Make sure my safety works over here. It does. Take it off. Lock it back, put it on. Okay, nothing. Take it off. There you have it. Assembled. Other than me just goofing off and not knowing what I'm doing, I bet you I can do it a lot faster the next time. And I may do a uh, another time lapse of me doing it straight through. But there you go, Hightower, this is awesome. You did great, and I can't wait to get this uh, out to the range, maybe later today or tomorrow. Y'all take care.